Greetings everyone on my channel. In a world where the speed of implementation often determines success, a platform called Creo is entering the scene. This is not just another platform with artificial intelligence, but a revolutionary concept of vibe coding, reimagined for teamwork. It is also a world where the phrase, I'm not a programmer, is no longer an obstacle to creating powerful and functional applications. So, in today's video, I will show you how I use this platform to create my own website. And without further ado, let's get started with an overview of the platform's functionality. Creo positions itself as the world's first AI native application assembly platform designed specifically for teams, which sets it apart from the multitude of standalone tools that have flooded the market. And at the heart of its philosophy lies a simple but powerful idea to turn natural language into a full-fledged production tool. For example, imagine that you can describe to your team the desired application, a mini SAAS for tracking project progress, or a portal for processing customer requests, or an internal data analysis tool. And in a moment, you get not just a prototype, but a ready-to-use web application with a front-end, back-end, and working data layer. This is exactly what the Creo platform offers, blurring the lines between an idea and its implementation. However, the true power of Creo is revealed not in individual creation, but in collaboration. This platform was originally designed for real multi-user interaction, allowing teams to work on applications simultaneously, similar to Google Docs, but for software development. But collaboration isn't just about simultaneous editing, it's also about control. And Creo implements a comprehensive system of granular permissions that brings security and access management to the enterprise level. Administrators can assign roles here. These are either viewer who only observes or user with flexibly configurable rights to create, edit, and delete data down to the level of see and change only what you have created yourself. This is what transforms AI-powered applications from personal toys into reliable, secure, and centralized business process tools. Another key advantage that highlights Creo's uniqueness is its deep integration with the AI ecosystem through NCP support. Here, every application created on the platform automatically becomes an endpoint accessible to agents such as Claude or ChatGPT. This means that your creations do not exist in a vacuum, but become part of a broader, interconnected AI infrastructure. What's more, the platform comes with one of the most extensive libraries of NCP services on the market, making it easy to connect to external data and APIs, enriching application functionality without a single line of code. And for technical specialists and enthusiasts, there is the option of infinite customization. This is a kind of extension of agent capabilities using custom NCP implementations, which opens the door to virtually unlimited adaptation to specific needs. And for designers and product teams, Creo offers a truly magical feature called Import from Figma. It is the first AI application builder on the market that allows you to directly convert professional UI layouts from Figma into working front-end code. This bridge between design and development also ensures that the final product will not only be powerful in terms of functionality, but also visually flawless, matching the designer's vision down to the pixel. And every app created gets an exclusive AI assistant that can perform data operations, analyze, batch process, and generate insights, making the app not a static tool, but an intelligent partner. Creo has not forgotten about version control, all changes in the project are tracked, allowing you to preview edits and return to any previous version with a single click, encouraging bold experimentation without fear of breaking anything. I can also say that Creo addresses the fundamental pain points of a wide variety of audiences. These include independent SaaS creators who have lots of ideas but lack technical resources, productivity tool creators, who are tired of stitching together disparate platforms AI project creators who want to quickly launch and test monetization, future tech founders looking for a way to quickly create an MVP without a technical co-founder, and finally, 
Gen Zers with innovative ideas who want to bring them to life without diving into complex development. Let's take a look at the pricing plans offered by Creo. There are only two pricing plans, free with 30 credits per month and Pro at $12.50 per month. With the Pro plan, you get 250 credits per month and more advanced functionality. I personally believe that with this pricing model, Creo democratizes access to software development and any user can find the right functionality for themselves. Let me show you how Creo has been useful to me and what product I created with their help. Since I mainly invest in BTC and ETH coins, I want to create a convenient dashboard for filtering my portfolio and analyzing coin data so that everything is convenient, minimalistic, and in one place. In the past, this would have taken days of coding and API configuration, but now we can do it all in a few minutes with Creo. To do this, I registered on the Creo.ai website. And by the way, registration here is very straightforward, and anyone can figure it out in a couple of minutes without any problems. After registering, I went to the work dashboard and clicked on the create a new project button. Now I just described the task, create a personal crypto tracking dashboard that displays the price and chart for BTC and ETH tokens, as well as showing the value of my portfolio, alerting me to price drops and providing AI analysis of market sentiment upon request. I write the prompt and send it. After that, Creo issues a technical assignment for the site we check it, and if everything is correct, we click confirm. Next, the site files are created and the code is generated, and all we have to do is wait. This process may take a few minutes, so we just have to wait for it to finish. Once the website code has been generated, we can view our website in the preview section. And here it is, the finished dashboard. So, let's test it in real conditions. First, I enter my portfolio data, for example, 5 ETH and 0.5 BTC. The dashboard doesn't just show a total dollar value, it automatically pulls real-time market prices, calculates my profit and loss based on my entry cost, and visualizes my portfolio allocation between ETH and BTC. This gives me a complete, data-driven overview of my holdings in one place. But I lack accuracy and price visualization, so I want to add trading view charts. To do this, I will write a prompt, ensuring data accuracy by integrating professional trading tools like TradingView. We wait a few minutes while the dashboard is being edited. As a result, we get these professional charts and price tracking for the most popular coins. And we have seen this many times in various cryptocurrency projects. And it's very cool that you no longer need a team of programmers to create this level of application, but anyone can do it themselves with this tool. Let's move on to testing the following features of our dashboard. Next, price alerts. I set it up so that I want to receive an alert if the price of ETH falls below $3,000. That's it, the alert is active. And all this logic for creating notifications was written automatically, and I didn't have to write any code for it. And finally, the most striking feature is live AI analysis. To do this, I click the sentiment analysis button and the dashboard instantly scans the latest market data on chain activity and news headlines. It summarizes the overall sentiment for each coin bullish, neutral, or bearish and explains the key factors driving the current trend. This is the context that helps you make a decision without leaving the dashboard. And I think this is a very good result, considering that I spent no more than a few minutes creating this website. You can also enter various prompts, edit the website design in different ways, and integrate your databases, APIs, and so on. But I suggest you follow the link in the description and comments and familiarize yourself with all the features, because if I show everything in detail in the video, it will be too long and not very convenient to watch. To sum up, I want to say that Creo is not just a platform for vibe coding, but a comprehensive ecosystem that turns natural language into fully functional, secure, and collaborative applications built for your team, and ready to be integrated into a future where AI and human creativity work together. And on that note, 
my video is coming to an end. I recommend that you go to the Creo website and test their functionality for yourself, especially since you can start using this tool completely free of charge and test the functionality of creating your own model without spending a cent. So that's all for today, bye.